And good evening, everyone. We're back with Mr. What Presents today. Uh, Jason Messier is our guest. Hi, Jason. Hi, Welcome to the show. Nice to meet you. Good to be here. Thanks. And you have a show right now at 111 Mina, so it's perfectly timely that we would be... Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It's um, it's called Celebrity Trash. Mm -hmm. It's at 111 Mina, mm -hmm. and it's all um, mostly portraits of celebrities made out of their own junk, mm -hmm. and then some are like um, supplemented with my own junk. And you, uh, you just had an opening last week. How did that did. go? It was great. It was totally packed. Um, it a lot of people from out of town came. My family was there. My friends were there. Uh -huh. It was a fun night. Uh, One Living Midnight, is that a, a gallery that you have shown at before? Or is it like a first um, for you? I did that, have that? a show. It was maybe six or seven years ago. Um, and it's, it's basically open like from like eight in the morning till all night. It's, during the day, it's more of like a coffee house. And then at night, um, it's a bar and a gallery, and there's two galleries. It's a really nice space. It's well lit. looks beautiful. Yep. And then they do events there, too, all, all different stuff. And is that the sort of gallery that uh, you usually show off at, or is your work uh, mostly celebrity-owned and privately uh, ordered? Uh, well, by the, in by general, the... I think that it's – I haven't had a super lot of luck getting great galleries. Um, I think some I don't know why people would think that somehow it's lowbrow but um, but I mostly sell stuff on my own directly mm -hmm. like um, commissions mm -hmm. um, the, uh, either commit people will commission me to make a piece yeah or I'll make something and sell it directly so um, uh-huh and we're watching here uh, the 111 minute pictures I believe is that yeah. correct so tell us a little bit more about uh, these these samples. So, so these, how did you select this particular show? This is basically all my new current work. Like that picture there is Pam Anderson's junk, um, Phyllis Diller's junk, and uh -huh. um, then the Lindsay Lohan one I just made um, just because I wanted to. Uh, uh -huh. So it's not her stuff personally. But um, it's interesting. Like, uh, oh, there's me with my Heidi Fly's bathrobe. Yeah. That um, my friend Jason Rail gave me. It actually was her bathrobe, not just um, her brand. Mm -hmm. So, but, yeah, so uh, <laughs> how did you select this particular celebrity trash theme uh, that's on display at 111 Mina uh, downtown in San Francisco this month? Well, mostly it's um, whichever people sent me junk, uh, like currently. So um, Amy Sedaris sent mm -hmm. me junk. Um, mm -hmm. Amy Schumer sent me junk. Mm -hmm. and Bootsy Collins, I have his stuff. Um, so that's primarily what the show is, just a collection of pieces that yeah. is made out of celebrities' junk. And uh, but why this particular selection this time? Uh, is it recent work? Yeah, it's all my recent work. Uh -huh. Basically everything that I still had in my house, like just all my current work. Right. And you live in San Francisco, is that right? I do. I live on Guerrero Street. Uh -huh. been here for... 25 years. <laughs> How are you feeling about the, the squeeze that artists are currently uh, under in San Francisco? Uh, I think that it's a really bad state. I'll, uh, personally, uh, all the tech, I M whatever, the tech people, yeah. those, all these young people with money should be interested in art, buy art, if they have money, or office art. Like, why doesn't, like, Google have me, like, do office art or... I think the people mm -hmm. with money should kick back to the artists. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that. Uh, I think rather than having this uh, tailored to cities, it'd be so much better if we figured out a platform for artists and uh, the new wave of San Franciscans to talk, collaborate. They don't care about art. And if you can't art, make the art, they want to just be on their help computers the and sit in coffee houses and do nothing. Well, they do care about the art in that you see all these Instagrams, all these reposts. They do care about poaching the art. Okay, and we exactly. need to figure out a way for them to understand that by poaching only, you actually are the cause of an endangered species that will soon disappear, just like in the real world. And if we manage to connect those two dots, then maybe there's a future for artists such, such as ourselves that are, are um, you know, sort of living art uh, individuals to I survive. Agree. Um, and also, uh, it's sort of off topic, but it usually would just take me five minutes to get here. Mm -hmm. And it, now it takes me 15 minutes and another 10 minutes to find parking. And yeah. I only live like... 10 blocks away it's like yeah it is pretty dramatic as a matter of fact <laughs> I do feel bad for the new San Franciscans who are probably squeezed themselves yeah. and are living in conditions that are uh, not at all desirable in terms of you know traffic rent 
yeah, et cetera, it's as opposed to like us. LA now. Right. People like four cars are running a red light at every mm -hmm. at every intersection. Yeah, because we do have uh, you know our systems. We've been here long enough, and if we're lucky enough to not to not get evicted, uh, exactly. then we can uh, work around this. But yeah, if you're new to I town, I have my rent control. Mm -hmm. I'm basically stuck. I I can't afford to move. I can't afford to not move. Yep. So I, I mean, I have it lucky, but I don't know what's what's next. Yeah, and. That. Uh, I have made a couple selections oh, of, of, your, of your work. Uh, my favorites here, uh, okay. President Obama. <laughs> so what did you use for material to, uh, to, to represent Barack uh, on this one? Um, basically, my only theme was just like red, white, and blue. I was trying to just be like Americana and um, just, I mean, you can see the thing. There's like a sneaker, um, just, I don't, I don't know what the comment is. There's like that oil can and peace sign. It was just trying to be like mm -hmm. maybe hopeful or presidential. Mm -hmm. I, I when mean, did I you make this one uh, in the in the in the run? Like was it early or very at the, like right when he was elected. Yeah. Gotcha. And did it get picked up by anyone uh, in his circle? Did you, are they aware of it? Did they I use it know. in magazines or anything like that? Um, I'm sure it's in articles about me, but um, I, I'm not sure that he must have seen it. But mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. I didn't get any feedback. And this one you picked uh, of your own uh, interest, or did anybody well, send see, you the 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 because because what you what is specific uh, and interesting about your art is that you also ask the subject to send you some items that they love or find uh, uh, of interest, and then you use them in the composition, right? Right. That's that's kind of my personal fun art that I like to do. Like, um, but one really good one I did was um, Hugh Hefner. His wife commissioned me um, for his birthday party um, so it's like up in the Playboy mansion so she sent me all the stuff there's like playboys and playboy jewelry and um, his his red pajamas that he mm -hmm. wears so that was kind of special that I know that's in the Playboy mansion so they ended up uh, it's in their dining room and then their dining room which is like bigger than my house <laughs> but um, and then there's a pit bull that he, he's a singer um, he did a video in mm -hmm, the Playboy mm -hmm, Mansion, mm -hmm. so my picture's like in the background. Uh huh. So, um, that like that's one way that it happens. Other people like uh, Margaret Cho and Parker Posey and Rosie O'Donnell, um, they've just been fans of mine and like bought their paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Margaret Cho also bought my. Um, Joan Rivers portrait. Uh huh. And yeah, that is another uh, point that I want to discuss with you. Like uh, when they when they purchased the painting, uh, how did you guys negotiate that? Is it your pet project? Is it their order? How do you well, at this point in your career handle this? That's what the big problem this? is. Is because nobody wants to pay for anything in general. That like right. the celebrities think it should be like a free gift. Uh huh. So it any time money gets brought up, it, it just gets a little sticky. But, um, I mean, that's what I mean. Some of those people I listed were understood. Like, you know, you're the artist. I'm paying for this. I want this art piece. But then a lot of people, if I say, like, will you send me your junk, they'll say, well, do I get the art for free? Mm -hmm. and, in a, and in a way, I kind of understand, like, why should they reach out to me? But um, basically, uh, when money's brought up, it's a buzzkill. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, but, it, but every now and then, I imagine you get the person asking you, say, if I want a Mr. Wa portrait, then I would ask. Then, yeah, then the then I would question is clear at the beginning. We, exactly. Yeah. The, same, that's same, how same here. more personally, like, you could say what you want. Mm -hmm. I'll, we'll figure out a price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, thin, it's, a, it's a thin line. Like that one, you can see in the screen there. Oh. Yeah, and I'm about to play that clip okay. uh, from, from the CNN. So okay, uh, hold that thought, and let's play this. Henderson sent me her junk to do her portrait, but then I also use like lesson bottles for the background. I just try to represent the person the best I can with the objects. It can take Jason up to 50 hours to finish a piece. I try to map it out. I guess the best way to describe is like a jigsaw puzzle where like I'll try a little piece and I'll just like see where it's going to fit. Choosing subjects is easy. My favorite are more like people who are like cartoon type people. Like um, Amy Sedaris, Phyllis Diller. I just like the idea of more cartoony people because I can go more from that. His dream portrait? I would say like Lindsay Lohan. She could send me a bag of stuff or, the, or like all her cigarette butts or something. 
Up next, more portraits and possibly a coffee table book. Brooke Baldwin, right. CNN. And, and we are back here at Mr. Okay. Presents from this CNN highlight. So a coffee table book, did that ever uh, come to fruition? No, you know, that's been my goal for a long time. But mm -hmm. the truth is that the publishing industry is not what it used to be, just like the record industry is. Right. Unless you're a very famous person, there, no one's going to put out a book of you. Like Kim Kardashian has a book of her selfies. Right, right. But well, there is there is Last Gasp, and that sort of uh, house, but they're struggling. I know. They are. I've known them for twenty years. They won't put out my book either, and neither will um, Chronicle. I know all the people who work there. I don't understand why. It well, but just like you said, uh, it's not selling. So I suppose at this point, uh, but we, look we at get the museum bookstores. Mm -hmm. There's millions of art books. Right in the shelves. And everybody would tells me that I should have one and they would they want it. Right. So. I mean I do I do collect that kind of stuff uh, still to a degree but less than before uh, I'm me also like, passing imageries you know like hundreds of images through reposts and things like that. I know I and think equally, the times change now yeah. it's like now it's just about Instagram or what uh, right more on, things on the computer. But the art that you make is highly tactile. So how do you feel about this computer digital realm of art? I mean, I personally, I've always enjoyed, say, the postcard versus the actual piece mm -hmm. in museums. I'm more of a trash <laughs> pop culture person that way. But you are very tactile. You touch, you glue, you put together, you have camera. You probably have a whole storage room full of stuff. How do you yeah. feel about uh, the evolution of the arts today? Uh, well. I think that my stuff actually photographs well. Um, I have, um, like, they would look good on postcards mm -hmm. or calendars or whatever. But it's true, people say, oh my God, once they see it in person, you don't realize it sticks out of the wall like this thick. And so, um, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Do you, uh, what, is the, um, what is the art piece that you're most proud of uh, and that you've visited, maybe the owner, and that you like, have a, built a personal relationship with the, uh, you know, the person involved with? There's been a lot. Um, I, I would have to say Phyllis Diller um, uh -huh. because she was the first one who sent me junk. And then I um, got to go to her house, have champagne with her. Snoop, she like went and took a nap and just said, just make yourself at home. And we were snooping through a refrigerator, just mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. through her house. And she was just so generous. And she, she sends me, well, I mean, she's passed away now. Yeah. But um, she would send me a box of junk like every month mm -hmm. of just like pine cones from her lawn and old prescription bottles, paint supplies. So she was kind of just like really got it, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I've made three portraits of her now. Mm -hmm. And I still have like 10 boxes. So. She's the gift that keeps on. So giving. you kept you kept all that stuff. Yeah. So you have a you it. have a huge storage. Uh, <laughs> how do you organize your items? Um, my studio, I, we call it the hoarder's room. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much anything goes. I share it with um, my partner Adam. He does paintings. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, I have bins. I have like probably like 50 bins where they pull out where mm -hmm. it's sorted. Like um, these are my toothbrushes. These are my fingernails. These are yellow things. Mm -hmm. These are bullet shells. And then I have shelves of all my catchy stuff, like old hamburger helper boxes and right. my, my Lady Gaga singing toothbrush. Gotcha. So, I, so it's just sort of on display for me, because mm -hmm. one, it's, I aesthetically like to look at it, but mm -hmm. then there are also like options for um, if I need to grab it and glue it on mm -hmm. something. Oh, that's my house. Yeah. And here's, uh -huh. an, here's another clip uh, where I believe we're going to see a little bit more about this process that you just described. So this is your home. This is my Still home. Still now. Yeah, it looks exactly like this. And you live in the Mission uh, yeah, neighborhood in San Francisco. Yeah. And you're Jason with a shopping cart. With my red vines. Shopping for candy. <laughs> I don't see my gummy worms yet. No, I did a big red vine show in LA a few years ago. Feel free to talk over. Okay. Uh, my name's Jason. This is me saying my name wrong. <laughs> well, you <laughs> can correct it now. My apartment, it's a pretty big apartment, but now it's like so full of stuff. Either people give me things or I find it. 
I just have a lot of junk. I have like a hundred speed Eyelashes, sticks. That's makeup, my hoarder's closet. Yellow things, I have a hundred cabbage patch dolls too. I have bags of these press on nails. Oh, see, I already just said all these things. Do you still have all these? Yeah, drawers? this is what it, I mean. Yeah, it's just basically um, storage. Those are a bag of cigarette butts. Uh huh. So, and then you repurpose it from from one uh, a painting to the next, or one yeah. one collage to the next. I mean, um, I used to go to thrift stores and collect things, and mm -hmm. now I'm like at the point where I have to stop, where I, I have my studio's full. I don't need to um, mm -hmm. go through it all. And, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Winston Smith uh, myself. Do you, uh, do you talk to Winston? Uh, he's Winston one of my, he's uh, the collage artist uh, behind the Dead Kennedys covers. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Very her. 50s and 60s oriented collage, so not so much three-dimensional as yours. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm surprised you haven't met Winston. Yeah. Uh, is he here? He's oh, yeah, he's still oh. in North Beach. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we can come back to the show and tell here a little bit. That and, was uh, my first uh, macaroni portrait I made when I was uh -huh. a little kid. So food is definitely a, a strong uh, source I of don't inspiration. Know what, I started with the, doing macaroni portraits of like Charlie's Angels and Mary Tyler Moore and Dukes of Hazard. And then I was sort of annoyed by the color palette, that mm -hmm. everything was just earth tone. Mm -hmm. So then I started working with candy and brighter things. Mm -hmm. And then um, it just sort of went into anything goes. See, there's my bins. Yes. So glue is, uh, is your paintbrush, pretty much? Yeah. My, um, I use mostly hot glue guns, where I'll have like four or six plugged in at a time. Mm -hmm. they'll. Mm -hmm. They'll just run out like faster than I can use mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But then I use um, Weld Bond, which is a really strong, non-toxic glue. So I'll put like a little bit of that glue, and then I'll use hot glue to hold it down in place. Mm -hmm. But then it'll last longer. Mm -hmm. I used to use E6000, which is the, the best glue in the world. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really toxic. But you could put glue on this and just stick it on the wall. Mm -hmm. It like literally bonds like really? glass to... I mean, not instantly. You'd have to tape it there uh -huh. and let it dry. Yeah. But it it would literally just stay there. Well, but, could um, you glue me? Could you glue me to the wall? Mm -hmm. And I would like stay there. Yeah. Oh, I I, I want to try that. Maybe at the the next show, uh, we'll we'll line up a, a Mr. Wild living portrait. We yeah, we could just glue your um glue your vest to the wall, and then you could climb up into it. I'd love that. <laughs> yeah, that should be a portrait uh, a por project for us. Okay. And we're back in your. Uh, in your workshop here with Phyllis behind you, right? That uh, one's um, Amy. Sh oh, Amy, Amy that's Sedaris. right. That was Amy Sedaris. Oh, that's me with my grandma when I was. And this kid. is where you got. I was reading a little bit about uh, your inspiration. That's where it yeah. starts from. Oh, there's like, me and my brother doing art crafts. You and your grandma. You were working in the back uh, while your grandma was doing some. Was she an artist herself? Yeah, she was. She, she did a lot of like painting, sculpture, weaving. It was the '70s, so there was like a lot of that. Um, right. Mm -hmm. She did tons of weavings and paintings, mm -hmm. and I want to I want to enter the plug part of the show as we're getting close to uh, to the end here. Uh, what are you wearing today? And if you want to show it to the oh, camera okay. a little better, this is uh, my Scooter LaForge shirt. It's one uh -huh. of my favorite shirts. My favorite artist. One of my favorite artists. Uh huh. Um, actually, he's the next show that's going to be at one eleven minute after me. And he's a local uh, San Francisco. Uh, no, as well? he, he was he lived here like in like twenty five years ago. He's in New York, mm -hmm. and he does. Um, he has, does paintings, art, and he has a clothing line with Patricia Field. Mm -hmm. He did like Beyonce's, or he did like the whole Madonna um, video, and mm -hmm. he's very successful. And while we're under one eleven Mina subject, uh, which will feature him soon, if you want to <laughs> read off the info uh, off of the flyer for folks uh, that want to see your art live over there, when does the uh, show close? So and the uh, how, uh, what are the opening times and such? If you want to show the flyers, we do that. I'll pull it up on the computer as well, but give us all okay, that info. Okay, so it's at, at 111 a minute, downtown San Francisco, and it, the show goes through May 28th. Um, they're basically open all day, like from coffee till 2 o'clock drinks, so uh -huh. you can pretty much stop by any time. Um, so is it a It's bar? over 21, though. You okay. can't bring your kids in. Or and you have to bring them in quickly before they kick you out. Here's the flyer. So uh, does it operate as a bar, as a coffee shop? Uh, what's a good Both. time of day to hit it? Like uh, if you want to swing by for half hour, when do you recommend is the best time? Well, if I would go at happy hour and have some drinks. But if you want to 
People just sit in there all day on their computers. Like go, you could go on your lunch break. Mm -hmm. If you're just whenever you're downtown, pop in there. All right, and uh, folks, 111 Mina obviously is the address so sec near uh, Second Admission. Near Second Admission, uh, downtown San Francisco. Uh, Jason Messier um, through May 28th. So no extension. Uh, you got to no, catch it soon before it ends. Yeah, mm -hmm. there'll, there'll be a new show. And the other artist I'm showing with is um, Beetlejuice. He does amazing um, photo collages um, that are really, really mm -hmm. intricate. Um, mm -hmm. They're beautiful. So and both shows are, that are up there are great. Right and now. you also wanted to mention quickly uh, Jason um, uh, Darcy's show uh, at oh, Oasis. It's an amazing show I saw it last week. I had a blast. It was so so go ahead. Good. It, the, um, it, Oasis, it's, this is the closing weekend um, Above and Beyond the Valley of the Ultra Showgirls, which was an uh, Enrique show I was in 20 years ago. This is Amazing like the, band, yes. mythic, epic. This is the 20 year anniversary of that show. So he's remounted it. This, there's a lot of the same band members, and it's hysterical. Mm -hmm. And there's a new song, Ice Bucket. Yeah, it's an instant just, hit. It is instant an instant hit. hit. And that another was a show, nice surprise. another yeah. show which is still going on is the Untamed Stage at Thrill Peddlers, Grumbly Caldwin's latest extravaganza. Uh, I will be there tonight at the Hypnodrome, and I hope Jason, uh, you get to see it because it's, it's it's total hoot. Uh, we're reaching the end of our show. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, Jason, for thank you me. for Good coming you. over. Glad to meet you finally. I know. I'm and uh, everybody, just head over to 111 Mina uh, for Celebrity Trash. 111minagallery.com, jasonmissier.com, and mrwa.com. This has been Mr. What Presents, signing off.